I think one of my premonitions, what God, what Chad told me was going to happen. Um, uh, looks like one of those actually occurred. Are you sure about that? Oh, shit! Remember this video? No, nor do I. Um, basically, the person responded to it. This is Last Frontier Medium, and she claims that she has proof, real proof, that she's a real psychic, that she communicates with the afterlife. What's her proof? She made a video predicting that she was going to receive negative press about 14 days ago, or 15 days ago. And my video, which you just saw, became public 14 days ago. So I must be the publicity. Despite the fact I was holding on to her video for a few days, I uploaded it on the same day that she uploaded her video, not afterwards, and she has received negative feedback or publicity from a great many people. So I'd say her evidence is poor. She doesn't seem to understand proof. It's not even evidential, even if we say it works. If we say that this uh, negative publicity appeared overnight, as it seemed, then would that prove you're talking to the dead? No. Would it prove you're talking to God? No. Would it suggest you seem to have knowledge beyond that of your station? Possibly. Beyond that of an average human being? Possibly. But... Have you received negative attention over recent months, in fact the last six months, because of your videos about Keanu Reeves? Yes. Have you had numerous videos make, uh, made about you, with people criticising you? Yes. Have you had people complaining to you via Twitter and Facebook? Yes. So really, it's not evidence. Pure and simple, it does not prove your claim. You respond to my video, you seem to take it out of context, it's about the big picture. Could you be these things? Do you exhibit certain characteristics, certain traits? Because many of the traits in there are mutually exclusive. Are you simply deluded? Are you full-blown mentally ill? Are you a con artist? Are you doing this attention-seeking for business purposes? Not all of those fit together. Also on the stalker point, you do seem to act like a stalker. And you've said you've tried to approach Keanu Reeves in person. You've tried to go to his home. You've, <laughs> you've seen him at a distance. Well, maybe that's just because you're a fan. I don't know the details. But I've watched a fair number of your videos about Keanu Reeves. And it seems like you exhibit some of those characteristics. So she manages to go and stay off topic. She manages to philosophise a great deal. Uh, early on in the video, she mentions that the video I responded to and took some clips out of basically was only eight minutes long, eight, nine minutes, and that's one of her shorter videos, which proves my point, which I typed into my own video, that I had basically cut it down to size. Why did you cut it down to size? Because it was a long video, and a lot of people don't want to hear her talking about her own philosophy and the feelings and, oh, my intuition said. They want to know what the actual issues are without the eight minutes of video in order to get to your fucking point. That's okay, just ignore everything I say because I'm a negative YouTuber, apparently. Because I've criticised crazy beliefs. I've criticised uh, cult abuse within Buddhism. I've criticised Benny Hinn and how the IRS were raiding his office a couple of months ago. And various other things that are important to look at if you care about what's actually true. I'm not saying you can't believe in your ridiculous beliefs. I'm saying, quite simply, that your beliefs may well be false, that there are errors, and if you look at them in detail, you'll find you're relying on faith. Now, if you wish to have that view, you can have that view. I'm not saying anything against that view, other than it is not a reasonable position as far as the facts. You are free to reject as many facts as you wish. And it's spreading fast, whatever it is. When you look through this particular area of the video, you begin to find her talking about where she was supposedly stalked. Was it on the internet? Absolutely. Someone tried to follow you on Twitter, on Facebook, 
you rejected them, banned them, blocked them, they set up another account, and you keep on responding to the trolls and wonder why you keep on getting trolled. You're a victim. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you.